Right as I start to freeze, I find some gold nuggets. Good morning or good afternoon, everyone. Welcome, if you're new here, my name is Polly. I am so excited to get in that river and look for some gold because not only is it my favorite thing to do, but we just had a record flood go by which completely changed the look of the river. The big boulders that I couldn't look under are now gone. The gravel bars that you could walk on are now missing. There's just so many new places to go look for some gold. So let's go. I just got here and I found our first piece. It's a little bit deeper, so I gotta dive down and try to get it before the current blows me away. Got it. One of the techniques I like to use is what I call fanning with your leg arms. This just allows you to work in the spots that are a little bit too deep for your upper legs. So I just spotted something big. Unfortunately, it's not gold, but there could be gold underneath it. A really big old fishing weight. I've never actually seen a fishing weight here before. What that tells me is that fish. Ah, cool. Too bad that wasn't a nugget. That would have been three, four ounces. There's a few crevices that I see right here up along this bank. Hopefully there's gold. Oh, wow. <laughs> I already see a piece of gold. It's set, it's sitting right there on the surface. I love it when that happens. It's pretty convenient. Yeah, just sitting right there. It's a little picker. Switching the camera to GoPro. Some people will find it hard to believe the gold is just sitting there. Well, I don't blame them. Sometimes they just are, and another reason why this claim is so valuable. That was easy. Oh, and this is a yellow rock, not a piece of gold. There's a huge boulder right here in the way. I cannot move it, but I'm gonna work around it. See if we can get more lucky. Sometimes you go out for entire days and don't find any piece of gold. So I think with what we have, we're doing pretty good. So we're just having a quick break right now. My face is a little bit numb, not sure why. I'm gonna make my way upstream now and see if we can find anything else. Whee! Ooh, warm, it's so nice. I don't think people realize it, but I actually prefer being out in the cold weather than I do in the heat. I break out in hives in the heat, but in the cold weather, it's so nice. Another reason I consider this claim to be so valuable is the amount of places there are to look. Like these crevices, for example. They're deep, full of gravel, and always a good place to check for gold. And here's a great example why. <laughs> yes! I did not think I would find a nugget today. That one actually looks pretty big. <laughs> All right, look at that nugget. Woohoo! That is incredible. Oh, I almost dropped it. That kind of looks like maybe four grams. It looks way bigger underwater. I'm not upset. That's still freaking amazing. I'm really happy with that. Now let's find more. Bloop. So something I should have explained before is that we're not excited when we find gold because of the dollar value. We're excited because finding gold is very rare, especially in a single piece, which inevitably will sell for more.
Something you might notice when you're mining underwater is after you find a nugget, you will dig a lot more. And sometimes it pays off. I just found another one and this one is bigger, my friends. Check it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is awesome! I knew I should have came today! Seriously, dude, from here, it looks like it's this long. <laughs> wow, hey! Look at that one! That's a cool shape, it's like a little asteroid! Wow! So like I was saying before, after that massive flood went through here, it moved a lot of boulders and exposed a lot of new areas, clearly. I'm making the cameraman right now stay here because this could potentially hold a lot more nuggets. And I'll be really happy with what we just found now, but I do gotta get out soon, I am getting kinda cold. Bloop! <laughs> I spent more time using my leg arms to remove more gravel down below. After some time doing this and not finding any more gold, I decided to check out one more spot before calling it a day. It's hot. <laughs> this last spot, I remember from a couple years ago when I found a couple nice nuggets but the spot doesn't seem to have any new packed gravel in it, so I don't think it's worth wasting the time. All right, I'm calling it a day. I know it was a short adventure, but you know what? I had to get out here, and sometimes short is sweet. So let's go home and weigh the gold. Okay, back in the blue room. Hi. Let's see the gold we found. So this is the gold that we found today. Not bad, I'm telling you. For that short of a day, this was actually really good. Here's the little guys we found today. Each one has character and each one is kind of thick. And of course, we have our two beautiful gold nuggets. This one is nice and solid. I love these ones. But this one is really unique. It does look like an asteroid and it's the kind of gold that you would normally find way further upstream. So I'm surprised to find it down here. Now to weigh the gold. I'm gonna start off with our first nugget. I'm gonna guess, eh, four grams. 4.12 grams, okay, that was pretty close. Nugget number two. 4.47, oh, I didn't guess. Well, I was gonna guess 4.47 grams, to be honest with you. That is a really, really nice nugget. Now for the little wee bits. It's actually still kinda nice. 0.37 all together. 40 ounces. 8.96. 8.95 grams. Wow. Six. So approximately nine grams of gold is roughly $650 Canadian. But since these are two gold nuggets, there is gonna be a premium for the gold because they are in single pieces. But that doesn't matter. I don't do this for the gold value. That is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, chances are you're going to enjoy what I've previously posted and what's coming in the future. So please don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button or follow me on my other social media for more. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And until the next one, I'm going back to the creek.